Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the Allied Grape Grower Association's annual meeting in Fresno. Today, Nat DeBudio, president of the association, discussed several factors impacting the grape and wine industry. One particular topic of discussion was the Thompson Seedless and the less than ideal prices grape growers have been receiving for them here in the valley. And here's Nat DeBudio to give his advice on the matter. Wineries are not out buying in San Joaquin Valley grapes at this time. And if they are talking, it's not at prices that are sustainable for growers to continue farming wine grapes. My advice to the top of the seedless growers is uh, be prepared that in the, end, the prices don't come out that are sustainable or the demand is not there where they're actually buying taxes. Look at the alternatives, and that alternative is going to be the raisin industry. Whether you want to make raisins yourself, sell them to a dehydrator, or sell them to somebody who's actually will harvest them, buy them on a vine from you, and they make their raisins and take the risk. Um, I think the raisin industry can probably handle most of the toxins that are out there because a lot of the toxins have been pulled out of the ground, so I don't think we're in an overproduction mode. Uh, and just look, make sure you get the best price. And I'm cautious to tell everybody that if you are looking at the hydrator, wait for the hydrator that's going to pay you the right price. There's some out there under $200, and there's some out there at over $200. So you know, wait it out and try to get the best deal you can. Thank you, Nat. Learn more about this subject, among others, discussed at the Allied Grape Growers Annual Meeting in the coming issue of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.